impossible plane. Or was it? How did this fly? That's the question we all ask the moment we first see this strange aircraft. It looks like something sketched on a napkin at midnight, not something meant to leave the ground. Yet somehow, against every prediction and every expert's doubt, this plane actually took off and changed a few minds along the way. First look, the plane that shouldn't have flown. When we first lay eyes on it, the whole thing feels a bit unreal. The wings seem too short, the body looks oversized, and the angles feel completely wrong for flight. Even engineers back then called it ambitious at best. But that unusual shape hid a purpose. It was built during a time when speed and daring ideas mattered more than playing it safe. And while everyone expected it to struggle, this aircraft had plans to prove them wrong. How it actually got airborne. As we move closer into the story, we realize the magic wasn't magic at all. It was a mix of smart engineering, bold choices, and a bit of good timing. The designers pushed the limits of aerodynamics, adjusting the wings and airflow until the whole machine behaved differently than anyone expected. When it finally rolled down the runway for its first test, people held their breath. And then it lifted, smooth, steady, and shockingly confident. The crowd went silent before breaking into stunned laughter. It wasn't supposed to fly, yet here it was, gliding like it knew the sky belonged to it. Why this flight mattered. From that moment on, the aircraft earned respect. Not because it was perfect, but because it challenged the rules everyone thought were unbreakable. It showed that sometimes the strangest ideas in aviation can become breakthroughs. And even today, engineers look back at this plane as a reminder that innovation starts where comfort ends. We learned that flight isn't only about what looks right. Sometimes it's about what dares to be tried.